you know, firmly in second place in all the polls, uh, Donald Trump way ahead in all the polls. Uh, he was, Ron DeSantis, was on with uh, uh, Maria Bartiromo yesterday on Sunday Morning Futures, and he was asked about a Politico headline. Uh, the headline was failure to launch on Saturday. And she asked him about why it seems his campaign has stalled. Did you hear what the governor said? Well, he said this. Uh, these are narratives. The media does not want me to be the nominee. I think that's very, very clear. Why? Because they know I'll beat Biden. But even more importantly, they know I will actually deliver on all these things. We will stop the invasion at the border. We'll take on the drug cartels. We'll curtail the administrative state. We'll get spending under control. We'll do all the things that they don't want uh, to see done. And so they're gonna continue doing uh, the type of narrative. And speaking of spending, uh, the governor also brought up the fact that he's got $150 million in his campaign war chest that he has not touched. And he said that he's looking forward to the debates. And keep in mind, it's still early, months and months and months before people start voting. And remember um, on other networks, they were calling his wife, Casey, the Walmart Melania, which mm -hmm. I don't really think is, um, it's not that degrading. I, I love, it's not, I, right, but. it's not an insult. I love. I love Melania. I think she's beautiful, and I love Walmart. So, uh, yeah, just everyday people. Anyway, so now they're saying they're mocking her, they're calling her names, and calling her America's Karen. Listen to this MSNBC panel. Casey DeSantis is a fairly compelling political figure in Florida and now nationally. For many, she's the brighter side to Florida's angry governor. For others, she's become America's Karen. And I think that's the ultimate disconnect here with a campaign that needs to embrace more constituencies to get to the White House. Uh -huh. America's Karen, David Jolly. Well, I called her, Ooh, I called her this, uh, you know, Serena Waterford wannabe needs to cut it out. We see you. So <laughs> there's, there's all kinds of names for her. She needs to stop trying to measure the great drapes in the White House and think that she's some kind of Jackie O reincarnate. I mean, Casey DeSantis. <laughs> Keep an eye on her, though. She's a wily figure. Tell you this, uh, she looked the same way when she was doing local Jacksonville news. So if she looks like Jackie O, that's a compliment. It's not an effort. Number two is um, she's going to bat for moms and parents. Guilty, she should say guilty as charged. That's my message. I, I'm just an education. That's her focus, and she's unbelievably eloquent behind the microphone. I mean, even for a broadcaster, I think she's extraordinary, and she's uh, a great partner to the president, uh, to the, excuse me, the governor who wants to be president. And she's and people look at a candidate, and they look at the spouse too, just like they look at a running mate, whether you like it or not. Number three is it's very tough right now for anybody to run against Donald Trump because it's the most unique challenge ever, and I've yet to see someone have the perfect formula, because a lot of people see what happened in New York with the indictment, and see what happened with the documents, and compare it to Biden not hearing a word, and also has documents, and they're saying it's unfair. And for a reporter to come out and say, uh, Trump's bad, shouldn't have taken the documents, and uh, I don't know what they do, and the charges in New York, defending them, Anytime you go in for, uh, if you're for the indictments, you're not going to be, have any Republicans in your camp. If you're against the indictments, then you're praising Donald Trump and supporting Donald Trump. So that's not going to help you win an election. So they're almost, all the candidates are bending over backwards to try to figure out where the sweet spot is for them to go to bat for their own candidacy, while also pointing out how unbalanced the justice system seems. Well, I think, and we've talked about it in the past, I, I think the debate is where is going to be the inflection point, uh, to steal Joe Biden's term, because that's when you're going to see all of them up there. We hope Donald Trump shows up. He's not mm -hmm. going <clears> to. <throat> well, it would be great if he did. Yeah, it uh, it, j just so you can go shopping. And you can hear the various people talk about different things. Remember, before the debates back in the day, Jeb Bush was way ahead. Marco Rubio was way ahead. Donald Trump had 2%. The debates can change the a lot. The reason why I want to see Donald Trump up there because he makes it so interesting, and I want to see all the candidates debate, yeah. and then we can make a choice. But what is he risking if he doesn't go to the bit debate? Is he risking that someone yeah. else outshines well, him and way. does really Absolutely. well? Think about DeSantis. He's going to be the target of everybody on the stage, yet he's not even the leader. So he's yeah. going to get all the arrows and none of the glory. He's like, hey, I'm in front. That's why. Well, I'm in second, and I'm going to get all the punches to the solar plexus and the chin, and the pre and the and Donald Trump will. Will do something else that. Yeah. And by the way, Casey DeSantis, you met her. You went down She's there. She's unbelievable. She's a mother. 
Uh, she's a hard worker. It's not easy to be a mother to one. I can't imagine being a mother to three and being on the campaign trail and right. trying to live in the governor's house and, and be the first lady of an entire state. Well, and that's what she rolled out in Iowa last week, Mamas for DeSantis. And obviously, it was very effective for that MSNBC panel to suddenly uh, take shots at her. They did say that she is more effective as a messenger than her husband. Which Maybe that's is why they're talking compliment. about her. Exactly. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilney. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe. Please join the conversation. Put your comments and suggestions below in the comment section. Thank you for subscribing to this news channel. You will be notified of any breaking news and new post as you become part and parcel of the McCad TV family. Please like and share McCad TV. We love you all. Please support McCad TV Foundation by joining membership and visiting Amazon UK to purchase the displayed books to aid our orphanage projects across Africa.